Elgato Coffee House. We are at El Gato Coffee House. Show me your kitties. <laughs> We're Houston's only cat cafe. This is pretty much cat heaven, I would say. They're wildly popular worldwide, and it just became a fascination for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are partnered with the Houston Humane Society. We provide the adoptable cats. You bring the love. A favorite is the coconut meow chata, and we're now a fully functioning cafe. Our cat capacity is at 20, and we like to be between 15 and 18. It's kind of the sweet spot that where we find the cats are at their best. Work your pose around that cat. So cat yoga, it brings some fun and playfulness to yoga. Exhale forward. I think we all leave here with the benefit of the relaxation that not just the teachers bring, but also the cats. One, two, three, four. Hi, I'm Renee Reed. I'm founder of El Gato Coffee House, Houston's one and only cat cafe. Oh my gosh. Hi. This is the cat's home. They freely roam in this space. It's called catification when you take a space and you build it for cats and to optimize the number of cats you can have comfortably in a space. So you'll see we have all kinds of nooks and crannies, places where the cats can kind of retreat down here on these benches, on shelves above. These little paws. They get the interaction with people when they want it and they can retreat when they want it as well. You see Sterling who's popping out, he's ready to play. California was the first state that you started to see the cat cafes come up. It became something that we didn't have in Houston and I just really thought we needed to have one here. This is pretty much cat heaven, I would say. I mean, look at this guy's face. <laughs> cat heaven. We opened first as just an adoption center, and we're now a fully functioning cafe. And did you already know what you'd like to order? I'll take the meow canut. Meow canut. So we've got the cat pacino. We've got our meowka, which is your traditional mocha. Our guest, they order from our cafe. Eggnog, meowka. They sit back here with the cats, and they help to socialize the cats. But the cats also provide to them um, what we call cat therapy. And there's known benefits to, of lowering stress and blood pressure um, with hanging out with cats. I'm literally building a connection with this cat right here. I want to take it home, you know. All of our cats are available for adoption. So we create these little cheat sheets that shows who we all have here currently. A couple of them you'll see are on sleepovers. We're at 173 adoptions. Sunday evening we do yoga with cats. I think that's honestly the cat's favorite part of the day. Motion, inhale, hands above head. My two favorite things are cats and yoga. She asked me if I wanted to teach and I was like, how much do I have to pay you to be like a teacher? And she's like, no, 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 like I, I pay you. And I was like, what? So I guess it's time to get started, you guys. Cat therapy is a real thing. Yoga therapy as well. Like the two combined is a really great thing. So take a deep inhale. Well, I think it's a great way for beginners to start yoga because it's fun and it's playful and the focus isn't so much on hitting the poses. Anyone can do it. You just have to have a playful spirit and an open mind and a love for cats. It's great to come and just spend an hour or more with them getting to know the cat before you take it home as opposed to a shelter where you get a few minutes with them in a room but can't really see their personality. So you can either stay here for Shavasana. This is her vision. This is like what was inside of her brain. Your breath becomes lighter. And she made it happen. We do Saturday morning cartoons. We kind of make that as the more child-friendly event that we do. I love the 90s, so it's like Garfield and Heathcliff, all of those old 90s cat cartoons. I have been a cat person since I was at a young age, and my background is a CPA. I'm an accountant. I work, but that all goes into benefiting what we do here. We approved a girl over the weekend. Instead of being motivated by profit, we're motivated by the mission of adopting cats. Here you go, baby. She literally like dropped her job in finance and like opened up a flipping cat cafe. It was like the coolest thing ever. Getting to wake up and say, oh, we found this cat at home. It's very different than what my life was like before. So I, I feel like in some ways, this is how I was able to bring in more cats into my life, is through opening the cat cafe. Mm -hmm.